Welcome to the Guitar Lesson for Puppets by Aurora. And we start off with the intro. Now, if you want to know how this song is going to sound, you can click the link below for the acoustic karaoke version. We start off with a D suspended 2 shape. Actually, a chord. So, D, A, D, and by barring with your index finger, you hit that E. Down to the D, C, by borrowing with the index finger, and then hammer on to the D. And then down to the A. C, once again, and then one of those. So that's D. E by hammer on, hammering on, pull off the D, the C, and then the D. Moving your hand up to the eighth fret and a F major seven shape. Starting off with those notes, F, C, and E. G, A, down once again to the low F, up to the C, down to the A and up to the C. G and hammer on to the A and then hit the E and then one more of those quick little flourishes E G hammering on pull off to the E down to the D then down to the C. G, D, E, barring with your index finger, G, down to the D, uh, the G, sorry. D, E, and then one of those, hammering on from the C to the D. And then do it once more, but instead of going to, when you reach that, oh, let's see here. that D instead of going down there you hit the C and then just play some more notes that are already fretted so that's the D uh, the A the G and the C Then for the first verse, just hit the D minor, G, A minor, and G. Do that twice, and then you have the pre-chorus. And here I try to incorporate this basic rhythm, which is two eighth notes, two, two dotted, no, let's say, uh, two dotted quarter notes followed by a normal quarter note. So that's one, two, three, four.
like that. So that becomes this. Don't give too much thought into what I'm doing between those actual beats. As long as you get those, you can play around with um, other kinds of rhythm that include those accents. And the chords on the pre-chorus is D minor, the F, or you can hit the full F, A minor, and G. Do that twice, and then the last G is extended the second time around. So you remain on it for a bit longer. Then the chorus, the same rhythm, and actually the same um, chords also. The only thing that's different is that when you hit that F, you can hit that little melody line, C, A, C. And that also goes for the first time you play the G chord. But only the first time. The second time you just remain on that normal G. You play those chords, as I might have said, two times. And then the verse is just like the verse before, but more eighth note feel. Um, and what I mean with that is that you basically... You play around with the arpeggios a bit more. You can also add some some flat to it by hitting more notes like like that. And the pre chorus is just like before, and the chorus likewise. For the interlude, you play like you did at the intro, but ending on this chord, the G chord, the G, B, the, um, well, let's see, um, the D, the G, and the B. Like that. And, well, uh, then we have verse, pre-chorus and chorus. It's just like the first time where the verse was just whole notes. But um, you don't have... Uh, you do have an extended G chord in the chorus as well as pre-chorus. So the last G in the, uh, in the third chorus is extended. And time for an instrumental pre-chorus. It's just like the normal pre-chorus, but without that extended G chord. The last. You just play it for, I suppose, one bar. And for the final chorus, we begin with... First two, those first two chords of the intro, but then we well, let's see, uh, no, A minor and the G. You finish it off with the normal chords. Um, yeah, and then you play the uh, chorus as normal, except you end on the A minor. You don't actually get to the last G. So, if I were to play the last chorus, it would be...
something along those lines. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll see you next time.